you can be a 1% Buddhist, you know, or you can be 100% Buddhist, it's up to you. And what I find so empowering is that, uh, is, is, um, that point. And why is that so? Because on the face of it, Buddhism looks like any other religion. You know, I'm a nun. It looks the same, identical. You go to a Tibetan monastery, I mean, it's, it's dripping in holy things and ritual. And, but actually, the fundamental difference that I find really important to understand, and even just, is that Buddha is not a creator. Buddha doesn't assert a creator. We kind of all know that, oh yeah, there's no creator in Buddhism. But we've got to get the implication of that, which is so powerful. I mean, it was just a couple of, a couple of years ago, I heard His Holiness just say kind of in passing, it was these amazing Indians more than 3,000 years ago who were the ones who, you know, began this incredible investigation of the nature of self. And so, of course, if you think back, then they were the ones who created this extraordinary technique called single-pointed concentration that enables you to plumb the depths of your own mind. They actually mapped the mind. I mean, these astonishing beings. But what do we know in our culture about the Indians? Nothing, you know. We know all about the Greeks and the Romans. So that blows my mind when I think about that. And Buddha came out of this extraordinary hist this tradition. So he involved completely in this discovering his own mind, discovering reality. And then he moved in his own direction, diverged in his own direction based on his own findings. So then when I think of that, Buddhism is not a belief. Technically, it's not a belief system. Technically, of course it's not. Buddha was a regular guy, you know. So if Buddha's a regular guy who became a Buddha, then all the methodology is there for anyone to take according to their own pace and their own, their own liking, you know. And it's not a question of believing in it or a question of being 100% or 1%. You do it at your own pace. So you can, it, it, you know, it's basically being your own therapist, like Nami Yeshi puts it.